What's going on everybody? I figured we'd do a uh, video game pickup video because we haven't done one in a while and I've immersed quite the collection here. I've actually put some things away because I keep forgetting to show them. Uh, but today we're going to show them. I, I've got some pretty cool stuff. Um, we're going to start off back in the 80s, the late 80s. You guys remember this product when this came out. Who didn't have a Game Boy? Um, this is a boxed Game Boy. I believe this is the second re rendition of the uh, box. Um, Game Boy's in here. The uh, serial numbers is not on the back of this one, so it's not like you can match it up with the box or anything. Only the Game Boy's in here with Tetris um, and the styrofoam. No um, booklets, nothing like that, but I have them. I have them, so I'm good to go. Um, no headphones or anything like that, but this is pretty cool. Um, this actually came out back, I want to say, 1989, and everybody had one of these things. This one came with the uh, Game Boy itself, and I'm looking for the contents of the box. Oh, here we go. Stereo uh, system includes Tetris Game Pack headphones for digital stereo sound. They are missing out of this box. Um, video link cable that's also missing, and four AA batteries, which I would not expect to be in here. But this is pretty cool. I actually drove all the way to Connecticut one night to go get this. Um, got a very good deal. Uh, these go for about $225 to $250 in the box in this condition. Paid $100, $120 bucks for this. So it was a really, really awesome deal. Um, I'm very happy to have this. It is my third one um, in the box like this. And the reason why I'm getting so many is because I have a Nintendo display case. And I'm hoping to throw my Super Nintendo kiosk on top of that and then make a store display like it was uh, brand new. Just like when they just came out. I have a little stack. This is a mixed bag right here. I'm actually going to show you guys this first. Um, also back in the 80s, you guys probably remember playing a computer game called the Oregon Trail. Look at this. It came out for the Nintendo Switch. Now, I have not opened and played this yet, uh, because I'm currently playing the NES Championships, uh, game. Uh, but this is cool. Oregon Trail, this is not the first time it's out for the Nintendo Switch, but I'm looking forward to playing it. So, we got that. And then, this is something I've never seen before. This is a weird one. Um, I'm walking through, uh, Target in, uh, Danbury, Connecticut. And uh, if you've ever been to Target and you go to the uh, Switch uh, games and the Xbox games, the PlayStation games, they're in like a little hard case and you can pull them, uh, but they go back to the case, they kind of wired to the case, and then you have to grab an employee and they either open the case up or they give you the one if it's the last one that they have on display. And I walk in there and I did a short on this and I showed all the video games and I never saw a game and I've looked at thousands of games in my lifetime like this. This is a total, I don't know, Nintendo mistake, mishap, we'll call it. Look at this. Kirby's Return to Dreamland Deluxe. But look at the cover art. This is a sealed game. I've never seen something like this where it was factory sealed from Nintendo. And somehow the interior label got folded over. And when it got folded over, they wrapped it. So they wrapped it. This is really weird. So it made the whole thing off center on the side. Um, it's like that and then it's on the back too. So I've never seen something like this. So I was like, man, I got to grab that. So I picked this up and I'm thinking about actually sending this out to be graded but just because I think it's weird. So, uh, yeah, very interesting. I've never seen nothing like this ever, but, uh, super cool and interesting. So we'll put that down. Uh, my local thrift store had a couple games for sale. Um, we got two sealed games. Not sure what the value of these are, but I paid $6 each, um, for the Wii. You used to see Wii games out all the time. Carnival games, you never see Wii games out anymore. Uh, new Sealed, and we also got New Sealed Epic Mickey. So, yeah, you don't see stuff out there sealed too uh, too often. They had a couple other games, too, but they were all really, really terrible games, and I had no interest. Um, went to my local game store, which is Joe Gamer in LaGrange, New York, uh, if you guys ever want to check them out. And I am a big Simpsons fan, and when I saw this, I had to have it. He had taken this in recently. The Simpsons Road Rage for Game Boy Advanced in the box. I don't know why I add the D there. I always do that. Game Boy Advance, not Advanced. Uh, but Game Boy Advance, uh, Simpsons Road Rage. Great game. It plays a lot like Crazy Taxi. I've never played it on the Game Boy Advance before. I've played it on the GameCube, and it's a fun game if you've never played this. Um, they were nice enough to put it in a box protector and give me that box protector at no extra charge. All right, last final items here. We got something big. This next three things I've kind of got together, but I'm going to have to show you guys separately. Um, the Hyde Park yard sale, the yard sale that keeps giving. Um, I had a lady that I ran into, and um, she said that uh, 
she had an NES in the box, and I said, yeah, I'm interested in it. And I got her phone number, and I kept bothering her and bothering her and bothering her. I was bothering her a little too much, to be honest. Uh, but check this out. She had Jeopardy for the NES in the box. Not the greatest game, but it's in the box. How cool is this? This box is mint. I'm excited to put this in my collection. It is very hard to find boxed NES games. I think I've only done it two, maybe three times the max. Um, not a game that I'd be interested in playing it. If you ever want to play Jeopardy um, on, that, on, on a Nintendo console, I would recommend the Wii U version. It is fun. Alex Trebek talks to you, um, and it's a, a great game. Uh, this one, I don't know. I've never played it, but I don't feel the desire to play it. Also, I wish these were better games, but we got uh, a tennis game, Top Players Tennis. So, um, yeah, it looks it looks NES days, like the NES days. It doesn't look like it's that fun or exciting, but it's in the box, and that means a lot. She also had Tetris in the box, which, unfortunately, uh, her brother wanted, so her brother got that. Uh, but the big thing is, I, I want to say I paid maybe $100 for all this. Uh, this was the big item. This I was waiting for for a long time, and this is her NES action set. Look at that. Complete in box. This is not my first one. I have a nice Nintendo display case in my storage unit. And as soon as we find the appropriate home for that, uh, we're going to make a Nintendo display. Um, we're going to put that Game Boy along with the other ones I have. And this uh, Nintendo in there, it's going to look like a KB Toy Store or a Toys R Us. It's going to look awesome. So I'm very excited to have another one of these. And this one is in good shape. This is actually a box upgrade for me. We're going to go to this. I did do an unboxing video on this, um, so you guys might have seen this in another video. This is the last order I have from Limited Run Games, which includes a, uh, I combined it into one box, Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles uh, arcade game soundtracks. So that is in there, as well as uh, Night Trap for the game. Uh, I believe this is for Game Boy Advance, if I remember Um and which is going to be really weird to play. It's not a video game. It is actually a video of the whole thing playing out. Dana Plato's in this from different strokes. Um, that is pretty cool. I got actually two copies of that. And then the last thing in this box is the uh, Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtle 2 arcade game soundtrack. Uh, so we got this from Limited Run. And these are the last items I ordered. Um, this is pretty cool. You may have uh, Shredder double teamed, uh, but he's uh, but he it has you outnumbered. So it's got uh, 23 tracks from the NES version, and then it's got uh, tw track 24 through 47 from the arcade version. So that's all on here. I got two of those, and this is literally the last thing I ordered from Limited Run. I now have everything that they owe me. They don't owe me a thing. I have resisted ordering anything from them. If you're in the area where there's stores or they're a convention, yeah, check them out, buy something. Um, unless the ordering changes, I'm done with ordering from Limited Run. Uh, the last thing we got here, this was cool. The item I have here is all the way from Japan. Um, as soon as I opened it, it was this thing was bubble wrapped awesome. And as soon as I opened it, let's see if it's still in here somewhere. Because I want to, oh, I dropped, of course, I dropped something in the video. There's a nice note in there. And then there's a little origami bird. There's a little origami bird right here. So hard to see, but this is pretty cool. Somebody made this. I don't want to ruin it, but yeah, I thought this was awesome. I'm actually going to save this. So they made me an origami bird and gave that to me. And uh, you guys know the NES, the Nintendo World Championship came out on the NES. This here is the Japanese version of it. Man, we always get shafted here at the US. The Japanese version is way better than the US version. Game is exactly the same, but the thing is the contents of the box. The contents of the box is very similar. I believe the pins are in here. Um, the I believe the art cards are in here. They did not get the golden NES cartridge, um, but instead they got something better than that. They got Famicom controllers, which is basically the equivalent to the NES controllers. So we got shafted. They got the cooler items in their box. Um, so I actually went on eBay as soon as this thing launched and ordered this from somebody and I'm glad I did because it kept going up. I paid 100, I think I paid $105 for this and it was free shipping, which is crazy. I want to say this was about 60 bucks. So they made a couple bucks on me, but they also paid for shipping, which shipping could have been less than $20, maybe 25. I have no idea what it's like to ship from Japan. I just noticed it's got a couple pin, little pin mark, marks on it, but you know what? It's all right. It looks awesome. And I'm super, super excited and glad to have this. 
and now I got the Japanese version as well. Uh, so let me know what you guys think of these pickups. I think I made out pretty good, I, whether you like the Game Boy or the NES or this uh, World Championship Edition from Japan. I think I made out pretty good. And the uh, Super Nintendo kiosk, that just got fixed. We'll do a video on that in the future. So I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Thanks for watching.